Now, just very briefly, I would like to show a PowerPoint presentation, a few slides, which was actually presented in 2006 in Brussels, one of our uh, experiments. Because our idea to set up a new uh, university in Kursag, a new research center, we wanted to share this in idea with the world. And Elamir actually put together this PowerPoint presentation in which he summarized uh, all of our uh, uh, ideas and endeavors. I don't want to give you the detailed version, but just to give you a short, a brief insight into the, the work we were doing at the time and also the work that we never actually abandoned. Ora et labora, study. This is how it starts. Participate and act. So basically, this is the beliefs of an activist, a social scientist. And here, actually, he puts down the fields of the research beyond uh, the uh, traditional disciplines, uh, also talks about the role of culture and civilization. But at the time, also, he thought merited attention and research. And even at the time, we were of the view that the Western civilization is undergoing a deep transformation. That was about 11 or 12 years ago, actually. So here are, here are the uh, questions, the client crisis, de-civilization, hybridization, creolization, beyond good and evil, hedonistic world. Uh, one of the important issues of for Elamir that he uh, actually discussed and, and uh, researched up to his death, and I think one of his latest uh, uh, lectures that uh, he gave here, nearby, when um, all of us sitting around him, and that was before Christmas, and kept asking, have we become better people uh, throughout the, the year that we spent in Kursag? And I'm about to ask my colleagues, actually, uh, the same question. Actually, do our lives have a goal uh, or a sense? And then these questions he put forward in such a way that uh, you can't shake these off, actually. So that was a very exciting mixture of wisdom and knowledge that he created. Also, one of his very interesting issues that he raised was the loss of transcendence and the loss of meaning, the meaning of life, and the collapse of great narratives. And I could go on. Actually, I don't want to uh, go into detail. We were all very interested uh, in whether after a period of deconstruction, there is, a, is there a period of reconstruction? So uh, can we see a new European construction and we what means and instruments? Is there a possible uh, uh, synthesis between traditional and emerging new uh, attitudes and values and norms of conduct and mentalities or life strategies. So what kind of mentalities are characterizing these uh, life strategies? What are our visions of the world? We uh, thought very highly of these issues and he always stressed that in every field of life, you have to be able to answer these questions uh, in politics, in uh, government, in uh, science, uh, in social studies, etc. One of uh, his favorite comparisons was actually uh, just to, to look at the messages uh, from the Bible, the Ten Commandments, and uh, today's values. So the, it speaks for itself, actually. So be modest in comparison to be successful or uh, discipline yourself, enjoy yourself, save, be thrifty consu versus consume. And he very uh, uh, descriptively was able to, to put this uh, in comparison. And all this actually suggested to be included in the topics and the uh, curriculum of a new university. So let's just move beyond the usual uh, disciplines and, and discuss these issues as politologists, um, economists, philosophers, etc. He was very knowledgeable on images, 
uh, the comparison of all the new images just to illustrate what uh, I showed you before, so what, what we were like and what we've become. This on the left is a, a, a modest <coughs> drawing of a, a car from uh, early 20th century compared to a modern car. He also talked a lot about uh, super individualism, almost like a religiousness of egoism. He, uh, for example, it very successfully illustrated with uh, images taken from uh, promotional m marketing materials, adverts. So the final victory of individualism and the cult of the human personality, the myth of the self, also the celebs who are new uh, goddess and goddesses. Here are the new goddesses and gods. And mm, I kind of feel a bit nostalgic because uh, many of summer universities we spent discussing these topics and showing and, uh, and, and talking about these images that he selected for these uh, presentations. So the first uh, on the left says, I can uh, quit everything apart from Bijou. Uh, the the jewels that he's wearing. So they these images spe speak for themselves. Also for him, the loss of the framework uh, uh, was an important issue. So we used to have God, we used to have history, society, and the individuals, and these frameworks now shattered. That is why we feel so uncertain, among other things. Also the relationship between these uh, elements uh, has changed probably as you can see on the slide as well the individual the individual uh, has become uh, the strongest and let me just skip a few slides here and just move on to what already has been mentioned so we have actually roles set roles in life reinventing a country and as Ivan Vitani also mentioned, it, uh, this was not very successful. All politicians laughed at us, all the parties, political parties, said, uh, laughing, said that even uh, St. Stephen came up with this. Uh, why do we have to reinvent it again? And the, the media ignored it or even ridiculed it. And uh, after many a discussion, we came to the conclusion that we have to enlarge and expand this idea, and just to finish, we came to the idea that let's invent or reinvent, reinvent Central Europe, which was an interactive website, which initially Elamir was not really supportive of, but in the end he was the most loyal and enthusiastic, and it actually started different topics, for example, on this website, entitled I Had Enough or We Had Enough, uh, that was the title of it, and actually things that you had enough of were acts of the police, etc., and you could include it here. And interestingly, we thought nobody would be bothered, apart from a few students or friends. And then uh, illustrious and famous personalities. Uh, Michael Lane, for example, uh, was uh, Thomas Glazer, who were uh, EU ambassadors, also Philip Schmidt, uh, uh, social scientist here with us, Philip, maybe if he wakes up. <laughs> He's mentioned. <laughs> there you go. So this this was on the move. It was uh, moving. It was alive. We published short articles. Others also came to publish here. And also there was a business uh, uh, group. I think it was Carpathia uh, uh, Foundation who uh, supported it, financed it. Um, fortunately. Uh, we couldn't become uh, Soros support, uh, receive Soros support, uh, uh, so we uh, had to discontinue this website. But uh, based on yesterday's and previous experiences, I think we have to go back from the Gutenberg galaxies to the Zuckerberg galaxies. So, okay, we take 
hard copy books to bed with us, but actually uh, we had a long discussion about Eastern Europe uh, in, uh, in English. Actually, thinking about the traditional workshop that we, that is very necessary and it's important to see fa uh, face to face, argue, disagree, even, but we see each other, we feel each other's presence, we see each other's body language, the importance of that. How can we link that to a much um, sort of uh, different or remote uh, kind of uh, environment? Uh, the creative town, for example, that we came up with, uh, which uh, uh, was supported by the government, and here, Kursag, uh, within a craft project, started the creative town uh, project which is not only just a few buildings given back to town, like this one, this has such a brilliant atmosphere, but anybody who comes in here can learn uh, what they're seeing, because uh, uh, the problem with these cities usually, okay, we visit them, we take a walk, we have a glass of wine or eat something, but there's no signs, we don't know what we're seeing. But if we can stop in front of uh, a house or a building, and uh, we have a mobile app, for example, in five languages, that gives us explanations and information, that's completely different. So that's the concept for the future university. Also, university should be uh, thinking outside of the box, or actually physically jump outside of the box. So just to uh, shot a couple of thousand people in uh, 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 in a campus, that's not enough. We have to communicate knowledge to a much wider audience. And this is, as we say uh, in English, outdated. I'm sure that uh, it's not just a matter of will, let's share knowledge. No. Uh, the publications that we care for and love take ages to, to publish, edit. But the technology provides much faster access. Yesterday, for example, we had the, the uh, talk, but it was already screened uh, live, streamed live, whereas a publication to sum up uh, the lectures would take uh, months or years to prepare. So actually, uh, now, since uh, some people cancelled their presentation, we now have more time, which is a positive thing. So now, thank you.